Hi, I am Dr. Selvaraj, your surgical educator from Malaysia. Welcome back to my series of surgical teaching video class. These are meant mainly for undergraduate medical students doing the surgical clux rotation. I promise you will become competent in clinical problem solving and surgical decision making if you are going to watch these videos over and over again. Today in this episode, I am going to discuss 10 more MCQs on varicocele, one of the scrotal swellings. So you all know MCQs are very important nowadays because worldwide they are using it both in qualifying exam as well as the medical competitive entrance exams. Many of the students, I mean the medical students, they must undergo this MCQ in their assessment or in the examination. So I don't think that there is no need to emphasize the importance of MCQ to you. This series of videos will give you a systematic way of revising the whole spectrum of general surgery topic by topic. But before going to discuss the 10 MCQs, I want you to watch that particular video of mine, that is the varicocele scrotal swelling. You had to watch that particular video and then uh, you can come here. So all the 10 MCQs are based on this video only. So now you can pause this video, click this link, go to that video and watch it completely and learn everything, the content thoroughly and then let us discuss the MCQ. So I have agreed to, I mean the SAR, the corresponding mind map in all my uh, videos. So I am this varicocele uh, mind map I am sharing here. So you know whatever I am talking about the varicocele, everything is there in the single page. So here I am talking about the etiology, why it is very common on the left side and the various grades of varicocele, the clinical features of varicocele, diagnostic investigations and treatment. So everything is there. You can pass the video and you can read everything thoroughly and then we are going to the MCQ number one. <coughs> a 30 year old male present with a painless swelling in the left scrotum that increases in size during the day and disappears when he is lying down. Examination reveals a mass that feels like a bag of worms. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Hydrocele, B. Epididymalsis, C. Varicocele, and D is inguinal hernia. Of course, the correct answer is C. Varicocele. Varicocele often presents as a painless total swelling that feels like the classical bag of worms appearance, and typically it resolves on lying down. So, no other option here fits with this clinical finding. So this is a case of varicocele. Unlike the previous video, now the reference I have included in, the, in that MCQ itself. So for this, you have to look for the clinical problems in surgery by the Hunt and Marshall, the same uh, surgeons who invented the Hutch pylori. The Hunt and Marshall, this is an Australian book. Yeah, second edition, you can see for this reference. So uh, coming to the MCQ 2, a 28-year-old male reports a dull aching pain in the left scrotum, especially towards the evening. On physical examination, the swelling decreases in size on lying down and reappears on standing. What is the best diagnostic test to confirm this condition? A. Urine analysis. B. Ultrasound with Doppler, that is 
the duplex scan, C, CT scan, and D, seminal analysis. Of course, the correct answer is ultrasound with Doppler or duplex scan. Explanation, the duplex scan is diagnostic choice for varicocele as it assesses the blood flow in the pampiniform plexus. This is the venous duplex scan. So reference is here. This is the American Family Physician Journal. This reference is from the journal. You can see that, that one. Coming to the MCQ3, a 32-year-old male has been diagnosed with left-sided varicocele and oligospermia. His partner has normal fertility and they have been trying to conceive for over a year. What would be the most appropriate management? A. Observation. B. Seminal analysis. Repeat in six months' time. C. Surgical varicocelectomy. And D. Hormonal therapy. Of course, the correct answer is C. Surgical varicocelectomy. Varicocelectomy is indicated for a varicocele associated with infertility when abnormal semen parameters are present and the female partner has normal fertility. So this is correctly fitting this patient. So the uh, correct answer is only the C, surgical varicocelectomy. And this is the reference against the, again, the same book, The Hunt and Muscle. <coughs> this is a problem-oriented book. It's an excellent book. This is a second edition. You can, it is not disease oriented. So they will be talking each and every problem, surgical problems, and they will disc all the differential diagnosis for that particular problem. Very good book. So coming to MCQ4. <coughs> a 25 year old male present with a painless scrotal swelling. On examination, there is a palpable bag of worms on the left side that reduces on lying down. Which anatomical feature contributes to the left-sided predominance of this condition? Okay, A. Left testicular vein drains into inferior vena cava. B. Left testicular vein drains into left renal vein perpendicularly. C. Right testicular vein is longer than the left. D. Compression of the right renal vein by the iota. Of course, the correct answer is B. The left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein perpendicularly. This is very important. Yeah, as a T. The left testicular veins drainage into the left renal vein at a right angle predisposes to increase venous pressure causing the left-sided varicocele. And this is references surgery clinical cases uncovered by Harold Ellis. This is also an excellent book. A lot of clinical case scenarios were given in this book. MCQ 5 40-year-old man with known varicocele presence for evaluation. On physical examination, the varicocele is visible through the skin. What is the grade of this varicocele? A. Grade 1 B. Grade 2 C. Grade 3 D. Grade 4 Of course, the correct answer is C. Grade 3 Explanation a Grade 3 varicocele is one that is large enough to be visible through the skin of the scrotum without wall salva maneuver. If it is grade 1, so it is uh, visible uh, visible on wall salva maneuver, grade 2 visible without wall salva maneuver, and grade 3, okay, it is visible <coughs> through the skin. Yeah, that is grade 3. Grade 4, it is tortuous vein, elongated tortuous vein, grade 4. So coming to MCQ number 6. 34-year-old man present with dull pain 
in the left scrotum. He reports <coughs> that his left testis feels smaller than the right. What investigation should be performed to assess testicular volume? A. Venography. B. CT scan of the abdomen. C. Prader archidometer measurement. And D. Scrotal MRI. Of course, the correct answer is C. That is the Prader archidometer measurement to find out the volume of the testis. The Prader archidometer is used to measure testicular volume, which can help assess testicular atrophy, often seen in long-standing varicose. Reference is Surgery Review by Macquarie, third edition. This book, you can see this is also again a book contains a lot of case-based scenarios. MCQ7, a 22-year-old male athlete present with left scrotal pain after prolonged standing during training. Examination reveals a mass that disappears on lying down. What physical maneuver would enhance the palpation of this condition? A. Valsalva maneuver. B. Cough ripples. C. Prehensign. And D. Cremastic reflex. Of course, the correct answer is A. Valsalva maneuver. Valsalva maneuver increases intra-abdominal pressure, enhancing the prominence of varicoceles, especially grade 1 varicoceles. So this you can see in Journal of Pediatric Surgery. This, this is the reference. MCQ8, which of the following is the most common age range for development of varicoceles? This is a recall question. So A, 10 to 15 years. B, 15 to 13 year, 30 years. C, 30 to 45 years. D, 45 to 60 years. The correct answer is B, 15 to 30 years. Explanation, varicocil is most commonly seen in males. Age 13 to, uh, 15 to 30 years, corresponding with periods of rapid growth and high activity. Reference is again by the hand and muscle, the clinical problems in surgery. So this is a problem-oriented book, I told you already. So coming to MCQ 9, which anatomical structure is affected in varicocele? A. Vas difference. B. Pampiniform plexus. C. Epidermis. And D. Testicular artery. So the correct answer is B. Pampiniform plexus. Varicocele is the dilatation and tortuosity of pampiniform plexus of the vein, a network of veins that drains the testis. Reference is, again, the clinical cases uncovered, uncovered by Harold Ellis. This is also an excellent book with more than 120 clinical cases discussed in this book. MCQ 10, which of the following condition may be associated with secondary varicose? Secondary means it's not primary because some other underlying pathology is there. So the correct answer is C, renal cell carcinoma. Explanation, the secondary varicose can be caused by the renal cell carcinoma due to obstruction of the left renal vein by a tumor thrombus. Tumor will grow into the left renal vein so that the left testicular vein cannot drain properly into this left, re left uh, renal vein. Yeah. Reference is the general surgery correlation and clinical scenarios. <coughs> so this book is again containing a lot of clinical scenarios. This is also a very good book. So now references, I am showing here three books. All these three books are <coughs> problem-oriented books. I told you the Herald and Ellis. This is the Herald and Ellis, third edition, current edition. And this clinical surgery made you see, now the currently it is second edition by one Mohan D. Silva. This is also, uh, uh, I mean, the problem-oriented book. Learning Surgery by Springer. This is also a problem-oriented book. Only three books are there in the literature, problem-oriented. Whereas, 
all other or all other textbooks are uh, disease oriented yeah they concentrate mainly on disease so each chapter is one surgical problem in these books and these are all case based scenarios will be there this is oxford case histories in general surgery this is the herald ellis book the clinical cases uncovered and this is an excellent book actually clinical scenarios in surgery and decision making and operative technique but here they are discussing the operative technique also but that is exclusively for post graduates or the surgical trainees otherwise the other part very useful for even undergraduate students excellent book there are more than 120 case scenarios are there in this book this is you all know this is the belian law sharp practice of surgery it is very important for anyone who wants to excel in surgery this is another american book surgical recall where one side of the book you will see question the other side of the book answers will be there so you can hide these answers read the question and try to answer it and then verify your answer with the correct answer in the book excellent book this surgical recall this is the only competency based book in the literature this is surgery by dr barry man this is all the again only case scenarios have been have been given so nowadays you all know very well majority of the mcqs are going to be only case based they are not going to ask any more uh, recall questions they will give you a case scenario and from that case scenario they will ask something as M mcq so you should apply your knowledge to solve this problem uh, that is why i have i have included here so many case based scenario books and <coughs> you all know that i have released three essential books for your exams one is mastering mcq or how to answer mcqs in medical exam another one is how to answer ascii's in medical exam and another type of exam in our institution we are no more doing essay type question this is called modified essay question so this modified essay question how to answer or how to deal what are the, what are the <coughs> tips and tricks everything i have given in this book if you want any one of these books i have given the link in the uh, <coughs> below in the description of this video so you can go there and you can buy any one of the books you want so thank you very much for watching this video if you think that these videos are very helpful kindly share these videos in your social media and subscribe to this channel kindly click the bell button also to get notified all my new uploads thank you once again for watching this video until we meet next time bye bye